This car you're familiar with, the Bugatti Veyron, the Concorde of the road. The meeting point for the most amazing collection of numbers. One million pounds, 1,000 horsepower, and a top speed of 252 miles an hour. But spin the clock back 15 years, and in the 1990s, this was the ultimate road car. The McLaren F1. Like the Bugatti, the McLaren is an orgy of mind-bending numbers. It was the fastest, with a top speed of 240 miles an hour. It was the most expensive, costing half a million pounds in 1993. And, like the Bugatti, the McLaren was built utterly without compromise. The engine bay was lined with gold, because gold is the best heat reflect. An entirely new and unique gearbox had to be developed because no existing gearbox could survive the torque from the 6.1-litre BMW engine. It was the first carbon fibre bodied car. But although these cars have so much in common, the McLaren and the Veyron are actually poles apart. And whereas the Veyron is loaded with technology, the McLaren gets Nothing. No traction control, no ABS. Its gizmo cupboard is completely bare. The F1's creator wanted his machine to be just the greatest, the purest driving machine, in the same way the Bugatti's creator wanted it to be the most amazing technical achievement. And that shines through the way they feel. Changing gear. It's like sliding the bolt action forwards on a rifle, that well-oiled, mechanical, metallic feel. And you sit slap bang in the middle for that racing driver sensation. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> OK. What I shall do now is climb out of the McLaren F1 and get into the Bugatti Veyron. Not a bad day, this one so far right to business because for the first time ever these titans will now go head to head in a one mile drag race i shall be in the veyron and in the mclaren a man who has no idea that he's about to make history he is quite excited though he saw his first camel today Actually, I'm quite glad it's him in that car, because today that McLaren is worth two million quid. If we do come together, though, he does know the drill. Run and meet at the border. Nearly ready. On paper, the Bugatti's got it. I've got 1,000 horsepower, 370 more than the McLaren, but the McLaren weighs less, so it's got more power to weight. 0 to 60, the Bugatti should have them. I don't know, this is the real world. We'll have to see what happens. Three, two, one, go! Yes, this is it. Forward into history. What? How is that happening? How is that happening? The old pretender is still there, it won't give up its crown. Uh, 240 kilometers an hour. Come on, Bugatti. We're going to get a really in. 1,000 horsepower. There's no way past that. I'm going to take it. Yes. <laughs> 300 kilometers an hour. 320 kilometers an hour. Yes. 320, and I have clearly taken it. The Bugatti takes the prize. <laughs>